Hi everyone, Rory from TDG and Data Spinners. Uh, today I am going to do a session on patch and alternatives to patch. I think patch is quite a difficult function to master and to be quite honest if you can avoid it I would do so. So I'm going to show you patch and then an alternative to it. So here we are in Parapps. Uh, I have already created a connection to a data source and the data source it's just to do with overtime so this is what the data source looks like uh, we've got an id a date that's in the us format a name hours and whether or not it's approved or not so i am so the idea is we're going to do a patch to fire some data in there and then we'll do maybe an alternative to that uh, so the first thing that we need to do do is do you know what? I'm going to pop a little um, insert a gallery in there do a vertical gallery and we need to uh, select the data source which obviously has to be this thing here um, we obviously have no I'll just move these across because it does tend to help things uh, delete that yeah you usually get an error at this point point. Um, I'm just going to do 200 uh, and that is perfect so I'm just going to do one more thing there to pop in the ID and I'm going to do, uh, and it's, uh, I want it to be uh, sort overtime reactor by ID. And I'm going to go to my descending, and that should give us the uh, data in the correct order. Good. Um, so I'm going to sort of tidy this up a little bit so it's nice and thin. Okay, good. Taking up too much room. And then we there we have it that's uh, a bit tidier now and uh, move this across can you can do this right good um so there we have it move you in a little bit I oh, know it's moved, losing a bit of space there go good so we can see that we've got uh, a gallery there I may move that at some point um, so what we're going to do is we are going to um, we're just going to put a uh, a text input where we enter a we'll do it as a number and this is going to be our hours um, so it doesn't say hours though of course so um i better put a label in there and i'll just get that one to say hours and uh we'll actually do we'll put person as well um put name name and uh, that's not gonna be a number only but we'll we'll go with this do you know at this point in our lives I should really all do um uh I should rename these as well. Uh, so I'll call it txt name and I will call this one um rename txt errors because our formulas will be a bit easier when they're like that. Um and then what else will we put in? Uh I want to put in a let's see if I can do a date picker. Good. Um, I imagine I'm going to absolutely mess this one up big style. So yeah, it's it's a bit messy looking, but we'll we'll go with that. Um, and so the idea is you put the hours, the name, the date, and then that will fire itself into here, and that's all we need at this point in our lives. So um, now I think I was a bit daft on this, and for some reason I called this a date and time field. Um, but I think we'll I think we'll get away with it. So. Um, what we need to do is we need a button, put the button in there, um, and we need to do a patch statement. So on select, um, patch uh, to this, and we need a little bit of so cleverness. So we need to then go defaults. Um, of uh, overtime reactor uh, it's just an overtime form it sounds really complicated but it's not and then we need to patch into there um, what, what it is we're trying to do this is why it's so complicated so I think it's title um, okay let's let me just wire this little fella up so believe it or not this is where it kind of gets complicated already because SharePoint lists are a bit fiddly so this one which is called name one 
um, I, I mean, I can, if I go through to it, it's actually called title. So I'm going to have to say that title is going to be txt name dot text. Um, and what's the other field hours, which is fine, is going to be uh, txt hours dot text. And we are going to do, let's just uh, do the comma, and we are going to do, just have a look at this date and time thing. Yeah, you could see title was up there. Um, back on that. Uh, yeah, I've got a field called date, uh, rather original. Um, and I'll put date, which I don't think is even a great way to name a field, but there you go. I was rushing at the time. Um, equals um, date picker one um dot i think it's selected date i think it's dot i think it's just literally selected date uh, and then we have to close the curly brackets and then close the whole lot and guess what it's failed already which is really disappointing so uh, i'm just going to do a bit of a debug on that okay so the first of my errors is a pretty straightforward one um it's um the, the problem i've got is hours is a number field so you put need to put wrap it in a value function value and then wrap that up and then that should be happy now in theory this is going to be happy I, honestly i'm not really sure i haven't put any sort of controls to make sure that that people don't do anything silly like put no hours in or something like that but that's not the point of this exercise uh, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to see if this can work okay so I'm going to put in four hours um, and I'm going to put the name is um, Jeff oh <laughs> I'll put that as a that's a number field at the moment so I need to change that from being a number to a text it's because I did copy and paste uh, I want to put in Jeff and on this thing here, I need to put in just any date, doesn't really matter. Um, and I'll put OK on that. Now, theoretically, if I press the button, then um, it's just going to fire it across. And we'll be able to, um, we'll be able to move on to um, this um, overtime sheet and we'll be able to refresh it in a minute. Now, uh, if I press the Go button, I can see the little ants going across the top. That means it's not bad. In fact, you can see that Jeff has gone in there, which is not bad, actually. The one thing I haven't done is I haven't actually put the hours in there. Um, so I'm going to do... Uh, it's not the width, of course. It's this item dot hours. Okay, good. So the hours have actually gone in. That's wonderful. But honestly, I don't really like this. Um, title, you know, you're entering in a record, it's just not nice. And I tell you what, when you've got a lot of fields, it gets really confusing. And when you put really need to put rules in place, complete nightmare. So here's an alternative, uh, and I'm going to do um, copy and paste on that button, um, and I'm going to call it uh, alternative. Okay, good. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to go and create a new screen, insert new screen. Um, I am going to do it, just going to do it as a blank screen. And in that screen, I am going to put a, hmm, well, it's going to be an edit form. Um, so I am going to do that. I'm going to select a data source, going to do the overtime reaction. It's going to bung all the fields in, which is great. Uh, I don't need that field there. So just going to keep it nice and neat. Um, remove that uh, you can see that it takes those there wonderful uh, and then uh, it's going to be a bit of a cheat here because th there are other ways of doing this um, and I'm going to go into the item and I'm going to put the default hmm now um, this is just this is just effectively designed to work for a, a kind of new form scenario you, you can you can kind of extend the logic but here we go um, so I'm going to go to advance on this unlock to change properties uh, onto unlock practice change properties on the date and then same thing on the hours now and then approved Well, that's interesting because that was something that we forgot to do um, on the previous one. So um, it's nice to know that it's there. And this is kind of the sort of thing that goes wrong. So actually, if you see when we refresh this, we'll see on the approved thing, uh, we haven't actually put in approved or anything like that. Now, arguably, it's my fault for not putting um, a rule on that field. But there you go. OK, so in the name, um, we're going to do... Um, 
Oh, nice to know. Um, in the name, uh, the default is going to be uh, txt name uh, dot text, um, and it's going to be happy with that. Uh, on the date, um, uh, I've got date picker picker one dot um, selected date. Good selected date. Um, should actually no, it won't come up with anything until you actually have a new form. Uh, and then on the hours is going to be, and it looks like a mad way of doing it, but it, it does have a lot more um, scope to be extended. So txt hours um, dot var, oh no, text. Uh, and then what we're going to do is, we're, well, interestingly enough, that does an error on the, um, in this uh, piece here, which is quite cool, actually. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and then I'm going to about approved is going to be no. Um, uh, and in this, yeah, I'm just going to put no. Uh, this is my app anyway. I'm going to do it like this. Um, so it's going to be approved is no. Uh, and so then what we're going to do is, um, so I'm going to call this uh, rename, 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 um, uh, submit screen. Uh, okay, and then we we'll do uh, rename, rename, F R M. Um, uh, so, uh, refer forum hours. That'll do. Uh, so then, what we're going to do is we're going to move up to the top onto screen one, uh, and this is our alternative here. And so, what we're going to do is do on select. Um, what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to show me show how I do debug the whole thing. So um, we are going to do. Uh, da, da, da. We're going to do new form, new form. FRM hours, uh, close brackets, and then we'll do, uh, what we'll do is uh, navigate, navigate to, oh crumbs, I haven't even put a, yeah, navi, navigate to where to, uh, and we'll go to the submit screen, and then do uh, screen transition none, and then we go over to there, um, what we're going to see is, I'm just going to make the thing uh, a bit bigger here. I'm gonna, and then what I'm going to do is, hold on, oh, it's, um, is going to put two slashes in there and then do uh, submit form uh, and then do frm hours. But I'm actually doing the right syntax here so what we're going to do is we're going to bring that in later on we're actually going to get rid of the navigate so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to um, hit my alternative so we're going to do six and then it's going to be um, ln and then we're going to go hit the alternative now this is not the full alternative so we go through to there it's ellen she's got a date we've got some hours proved no uh but it has no submit form on it i could put one on but i'm not um uh but i'm actually not going to bother because what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the screen and i'm going to go on this alternative now that i'm kind of happy with the hours that we've got and so on is what i'm going to do is i am going to um Put this uh, in here and now we're not going to navigate to it because i'm happy with the hours and so on and i'm just going to get rid of that and what we're going to do is effectively it goes new form and then submit form so it's the same as what patch is doing but it's much more to me it's much more auditable um uh, i can put much more i'm much richer rules into this than i can enter into um the patch statement i'm not even going to bother with the patch statement um when i've got something like where i can do clever things like um i don't know you could have all sorts of statuses and and so on um so so i'm going to demo this actually working so um have i fixed this all up yet um Yes, I have. It's going to work. And so I'm going to hit the play button. We'll put the hours to something daft like 10, Ellen, and we'll do a change to the date and we'll put the 20th. And I'll go OK. And if I hit my alternative, it's going to basically um, go new form, pop the data in, and then it's going to do edit um, and then it's going to submit it for me. And then we should see it sort of populate on the right hand side. Just clicked it, by the way. Ka ching Now, look at that. That's great, isn't it? Um, so, uh, I don't know about you, but I would sooner debug 
Um, I would sooner debug this than I would want to uh, debug a patch. If I'm honest, any time I've ever used patch, it, <laughs> it's probably a reflection on me, but it kind of goes wrong. Um, so apologies, it's quite a long video this, um, but um, I hope you find it useful to you. Okay, thanks everyone. Um, please subscribe, please like, um, all those sorts of uh, things. Um, there's plenty of other videos you can go looking for and I will see you again sometime soon. One final thing before I go, the uh, I've got a website and uh, you can obviously uh, pop across to there and uh, I'm also a member of the Dynamics Society so I'm just going to jump onto those sites so that you can see um, what you um, what is awaiting you if you uh, go across there. So this is the my home page but the bit I want to refer you to is the Office 365 resources and that's because down here we've got a little Power BI report that's going to refresh in a minute and you can basically look up videos um, if it's any use to you so you can type in I don't know um, let me see if I've got anything on collect um, there you are um, so this is something to do with removing a collection so um, and that's a shuffle list and it sort of pushes it into a collection so you can click on that um, shuffle list items and clear collect and then you can actually go to the web link so and then you can just jump on there and you can find another video it's okay um, there we are Here he's, he's back again uh, the other thing is you can become a member of the dynamics society now I've somehow ended up in the um, I need to go onto the site itself um, I just want to refer you to the site and on this site you can see lots of things as blogs and what have you and I'll also refer you to the Power Platform Bank now if you're a member and to be honest it's just you know it's just something you sign up to if you're a member of the site then you can download um, different apps that people are recording and people have put a lot of time into these things so I'd thoroughly recommend that you uh, that you do that and just download bits and pieces uh, along the way and you can obviously upload your own creations so um, enjoy and I will catch up with you some other time cheers bye